But first, breaking new information on remains found in a D.C. apartment building last Wednesday and again on Saturday. Three sets of human remains were found on Wayne Place in Southeast. The first set was found by a contract worker in a building's crawl space. All three are female. Stephanie Ramirez is live where the remains were found. And Steph, we've learned that there's still no identification on who this might be. Yeah, Adam, still no ID, and the police chief actually said he wished he had more information. We have some more details today, but first, I want you to take a look at a set of photos our colleague Scott Broom obtained. He says this is what the plumbing contractor had found in the crawl space of an apartment building here. In the photos, you can make out parts of a human skull. Police say they were called Wednesday afternoon to the scene. The cadaver dogs discovered two more sets of human bones on Saturday. Today, we learned those two sets were co-mingled in a shallow grave nearby. The medical examiner says part of the reason they haven't been able to ID any of the sets of bones yet is because they have not found any soft tissue to pull DNA from. I asked the ME whether the bones found had any evidence of trauma. He wouldn't say he wouldn't say how long he thinks they, the remains have been here, but they know all three are female because the pelvic bones found and because of the shape of them. And he says they were found with all three sets what we've done so far is as of today, we are uh, cleaning and reconstructing uh, the skeletal remains of each um, individual. Um, the uh, shallow grave that just spoke about, those um, skeletal remains were commingled, so it required us um, to make sure that we sorted those out. And investigators say they're going to be looking through all of the missing person cases in D.C. They're asking for help from everyone who's lived in the building in the neighborhood here. This is just the start of a very extensive investigation here on Wayne Place. Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. Yeah, very mysterious. Stephanie, thanks. We want to get over to Scott Broom now, who's got some new pictures and some more background on this building. What do you have, Scott? Well, the building here, 113 Wayne Place Southeast, this building has been here since 1948 with a huge list of tenants. Police Chief Newsham today admitted they're going to have to go through all the property records, look at each and every individual who lived in this building, and of course attempt in some way to identify those remains. They don't even know how old they are. And again, one of the most remarkable developments today was the surfacing of these photos that were taken by the plumbing contractors that made the discovery underneath that building. The photos were taken by the plumbing contractor who discovered the bones. No hair, no clothes, no other personal items apparent in these pictures. Just female bones and mystery. And for families of missing people in our region, residents here are wondering if this will lead to some sort of closure. I know that someone knows something. Someone had to see something. At least somebody will find that their relatives or whatever are passed away and they don't have to worry about looking for them anymore. This investigation started Wednesday when plumbers doing renovation and repair in a crawl space under this care-worn six-unit apartment building on Wayne Place Southeast found the first set of remains, a female. Saturday, two more sets of remains were found buried in a wooded no-man's land behind the apartment building. The investigation has been intense, including a search by cadaver dogs and a large crew of police cadets, homicide detectives canvassing the neighborhood. The building, a six-unit apartment complex, was purchased by a Virginia-based investor April 3rd for a half million dollars. The building was constructed in 1948. Records show a long, long list of tenants over the years, some deceased. It's kind of like creepy, it's scary. So again, this building was just bought by an investor and there was a fire here a couple of months ago in one of the upper units. and. That accounts for some of the renovation uh, that's been going on. Uh, a lot of the tenants who were here are not here anymore, and tenants, believe me, are hard to find. I talked about that long list. I started going through it just the way detectives would, identifying people from property records, trying to make phone calls. I found dozens and dozens of phone numbers and addresses that were no good, and also a number of people who were deceased, dead and gone. The detectives have a lot of work ahead of them. 
Reporting live on Wayne Place Southeast, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, and if not for that fire, it could have been a number of more years before those remains were found. Scott, thank you. Now, when we get answers on this mystery, we'll have them for you here on air and on our website, WSA9.com, and also our WSA9 app.